This month sees the 35th anniversary of the first landing of the TARDIS on our screens. From his time-travelling police box, Doctor Who emerged to become one of television's most enduring characters, though he keeps inhabiting different bodies. But in recent years, his TARDIS has touched down less frequently. However, there have been sightings of the Doctor's adversaries, the Daleks, which prompted fan William Hadcroft to ask whether the Time Lord himself had become a thing of the past. The Daleks are on television most nights at the moment, but only in the ads for the new digital channel BBC Choice. There will be themes. You might get a whole night of stuff on your favourite programme. It's also the only place you can see the special programming to mark Doctor Who's anniversary. It wasn't always like that. Our journey begins in 1963, when the BBC commissioned a new drama series starring a nameless Time Lord known only as the Doctor. The programme was so popular that it just ran and ran, garnering fans like a Dalek going downhill. Not quite clear, is it? I can see by your face that you're not certain. You don't understand. <laughs> I, I knew you wouldn't. Never mind. Now, which switch was it? No, 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 no. Ah, yes. That is it. The point is, not whether you understand. What is going to happen to you? Hmm? In 1989, after 26 years of assorted adventures through time and space, and seven doctors, it wasn't the Cybermen who put paid to our hero. The BBC decided the programme just wasn't making the ratings anymore, and so exterminated the series. We're going home! I did it. I got us back. Fans around the world were outraged. So much so that by 1996, the BBC were persuaded to bring the Doctor back in a television movie starring Paul McGann. The film attracted over 9 million viewers in Britain, but in America, didn't fare so well. And so, the BBC's partners in America pulled out. This is his last chance to stay alive, and you know it. What do you know of last chances? More than you! I have wasted all my lives because of you, Doctor. The irony was that in the same year, Doctor Who won the BBC's TV 60 Award for Best All-Time Drama. Proof, if any, be needed that it wasn't just appealing to die-hard fans. And the nation's favourite popular drama is Doctor Who. In fact, Doctor Who is such an important part of television culture, he's here at the Museum of the Moving Image. No better place for an encounter with another time lord. For many viewers, I think it recaptures a time of um, innocence and being at home with their family and being children and being excited by this, this very sort of brave and very well-imagined television programme. Um, so pe I think people as much hang on to that feeling of um, innocence and sort of early sort of creativity when they were first fired and remain very loyal to it as they grow up to be adults. What do you make of the, um, the issue of the BBC not being able to afford to make the programme without American backing? Well, I think it's rather sort of sad and ironic in that um, Doctor Who, I think, is most famously regarded as being a very cheap and cheerful show with all the old clichés about wobbly sets. But now they feel um, it's too expensive to make. Although they can't watch his adventures on television unless they have satellite, Homo sapien fans do have access to a plethora of new books and videos, even Dalek Bubble Bath. This is a very impressive shop, Thank you very Alexandra. much. Um, on these shelves, we've got the BBC videos of mm. Doctor Who. All the CDs, soundtracks, and anything really associated with Doctor Who. So who buys all this stuff? We have doctors and solicitors and people in the armed services, right the way down to kids of you know, four and five years who have mm. actually never seen it on ordinary television. Doctor Who fans, the Daleks are no longer the most feared adversary of the Doctor. Now it's the dreaded B. Like it or not, America sets the benchmark in quality of science fiction with so many shows, you know, the Star Trek franchise and the X-Files and so on. Um, for a show like Doctor Who to succeed, it has to have that appeal abroad. Do you think Doctor Who will ever come back? It's inevitable it's going to come back. Mm. Um, in the same way that something like Lost in Space can come back and become a cinema smash 20, 30 years later. It has to be current and mean something to a new generation of children. Um, we all loved it when we were kids because we grew up with it. It's the Doctor Who we knew. But it can't just be that again because obviously we've grown up, we've changed, and our perceptions change as well. Exterminate! Exterminate! For as long as people want the Doctor, he can never die. 
And if the only way to catch up with him is by going back in time, well, so be it. I'm off now to catch the old series. <laughs>